Okay, so we're going to have a look at the die roll activity, um, and we're going to base this on rolling two die a number of times. So um, we're going to look at our total numbers that we can get from the two die. So we roll two die, and we get one on each. The, so the lowest number we can get is a two. So here we go, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And then we're going to split our class into teams. So team one, team two, team three, team four. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually total up the number of twos. And then we're going to drag this down to using the handle to total up the number of threes, fours, fives, six, sevens, and so on. And then finally, we're going to total up the number of rolls to give us a, a total. So we can actually now find a percentage. So um, if we put in some random data in here, So I'm going to use rand between, which is a function, and I want it to give me a number between 1 and 20. I can quickly put in some random information. So you wouldn't do this with your group. You would actually get them to give you some data. So here between them, I got 491 uh, die rolls. So this is my total column. And you're going to notice that this data keeps refreshing. Um, if you wanted to do a random experiment, you didn't want them to actually do the die rolls, you could actually base it on this. So um, again, I'm going to make this bold, and these bold, and this is where the student data went. So this is my total. So what I've got is the percentage of this is going to be 24 equals this out of this. So I can take this and I can drag it down. And I have to turn this into an absolute cell reference. So here I have to put a dollar sign. And here I have to put a dollar sign. Because F13 is not going to become F14, F15, F16, F17, F18, and so on. So the div slash zero is becoming uh, is coming up because I'm dividing by zero. And obviously, as we know, that's not allowed. So I change my first one. And I drag down. And now my numbers are appearing. So now I'm going to choose format as a percentage. So now I know that 7.31% of my rolls were this. So this is a percentage. And I can also represent this as a fraction because I can say that this, and then I can use an and sign, speech mark, a slash, a speech mark, an and, and the total. So when we're done and the numbers keep changing, and again I have to use a dollar sign here. So as I drag this down, we can now see that 41 out of 501, 39 out of 501, 44 out of 501. So I've got this represented as a fraction and as a percentage. Okay, so now we're going to turn our data into a graph. So the first thing we want to do is we want to choose the uh, values that we have um, as our labels. And um, we also want to choose our percentage. So I'm using the control key to select two sets of data. And then I'm going to choose to insert the chart. So we want to choose a few options here. So we want to use column A as our labels. Um, and we also want to make sure that we are using a column chart. This is a histogram. We want to use a column chart. So now we can see that 2, we got 8.18%, 3, 7.78%, and so on and so forth. 
So we're now going to choose uh, a few options here. So this, uh, we're going to go to customize. So our chart title is die rolls total. And we're actually going to choose not to have a legend. And our horizontal axis is total of raw and I think we're good and if you want to you can change the color here if you want something that's going to be a bit bolder to use on a on a smart board or on a projector you can do so then we choose to insert so you can drag this around you can move it um, you can actually make it bigger or smaller. So you can uh, take the corner and make it fit on your sheet. So what we're going to find ha uh, happens now is that if I make a change on my sheet, so and the data changes, then uh, you can see that the um, the graph bars will move. So if you set this up beforehand, so if I now take the data out of here. And I now give this to my group, and I say to them, right, okay, team one, they got three, and now they got six. And as they start to type in the data, the data is going to appear in the chart live, so they can see visually what's happening. So not only do they put in their data, they have a total, they can see what the total is out of, they get a fraction, they can see the percentage, and they also get to see it as a graph. So this is a great way to test theoretical and uh, actual uh, probability.